How do you like that music at the very first? Welcome to Lake Murray State Park. There on the right is the main office for the entire state park. This is the cabin and resort area. Y'all sit back and I hope you enjoy the ride. We're going to stop right up here and check all this out. You know, as we drive around the park area, I want to tell you a little bit about Lake Murray State Park. Lake Murray State Park is the first and largest state park in Oklahoma. Lake Murray is entirely surrounded by Lake Murray State Park. There is one scenic highway, 775, or 77S that runs around the entire park. You can use the scenic highway to get to all the areas, campgrounds, beaches, and more within Lake Murray State Park. Lake Murray State Park covers a massive 12,500 acres, almost half of which is the lake itself. The remainder of the scenic surrounding areas, including parks, beaches, hiking trails, campgrounds, an ATV slash motorcycle area. There's an 18 hole golf course, airport, uh, RC flying field, cabins, boat ramps, and more. Within the park, there are 32 room lots, 56 cabins for rent, floating cabins for rent. I didn't see those. I need to check those out. Those are privately owned, by the way. Uh, 124 WES site, 12 fully accessible, uh, 177 WES water and electric sites, I don't know why I couldn't think of that, <laughs> one fully accessible. Reserve an RV campsite online at Go Camp okay.com there was a area that i couldn't get into because they were closed so let me read you what it says here welcome to tucker tower this building is the most identifiable structure within any of oklahoma's state parks it was designed and primarily built by the works progress administration during the 1930s it is believed that the initial plan was for Tucker Tower to serve as a retreat for the Oklahoma governors. However, it never served that purpose and instead has been a geological museum and most recently a nature center for Lake Murray State Park. Tucker Tower is named for Fred Tucker, who was a state senator during the time that Lake Murray was being constructed. constructed. And here's why I didn't get to go in. Uh, Tucker Tower access is gained through the Lake Murray Nature Center. The hours are the same in the Nature Center. Excuse me, Brandon. So tell everybody right up here on the left, they have a really cool looking swimming pool. Of course, they've already got the water drained for right now. But uh, there is a swimming pool there. And if you look over here to the right, they have a miniature golf course. Y'all want to stop and see the pictures here? Hang on. Okay, so are you done, Brandon? Can I continue on? Yeah. Oh, wait. 
Did I ever tell you about the time I fell into the grave out at the old cemetery on Halloween? Yeah, I guess I'll tell you later. Well, alrighty then. Okay, we shall continue now. Open daily, 9 to 4.30. Psst. Hey, Brandon. What are you talking about? Uh, we were talking about the Nature Center and the Tucker Tower. Now, are we back on the same page? I hope so. Just sit down and have a drink, Brandon. It'll be better later. March through October. November through February. Open 9 to 4.30. Wednesday through Sunday. If you show up at 4.40, the gate is shut and locked. So, that'll be for another trip. By the way, you can rent boats there. Um, I did not check on that or the price. But uh, you can find out by calling 580-223-9300. Or you can visit them on their website at lakemurraymarina.com, I'm sure. I was just a little curious about the history of the lake itself, so I looked this up. It says, according to Ada Evening News, the concept of creating a lake at this location surfaced in 1929 when George C. Gibbons, the secretary of of the Ada Chamber of Commerce inspected the area. He contacted the U.S. Biological Survey, which surveyed her, which assigned an engineer and a biologist to perform a preliminary study of creating a wildlife refuge that included a lake for waterfowl habitat. Senator Elmer Thomas also became interested in the proposal. Thomas worked to get congressional approval of $250,000 for the project. However, the biological survey failed to complete its report before Congress adjourned. Meanwhile, William H. Alpha Bill Murray, who became the governor of Oklahoma in 1931, embraced the, the proposal. The Great Depression was in full swing and had hit the state hard. Murray realized that such a project could put a lot of people back to work, not only in the construction of the facility, but to operate it afterwards. And he pushed uh, the Oklahoma legislation register into approaching 90000 for a land purchase in 1933. The amount was later increased to 150000 He also approved the starting condemnation proceedings to obtain the land and allowing relief funds to pay workers for clearing the heavy forested proposed lake site. The state legislator approved Appropriated 90000 on April 10, 1933, to purchase about 10,000 acres in Carter and Love counties for the state park. The park and the man made lake it contained would be named Lake Murray for William H. Alpha Bill Murray, who was Oklahoma governor from 1931 until 1936. During the following year, the National Park Service acquired 2,700 acres adjacent to Lake Murray State Park. The land purchase was designed as a recreational demonstration area. The Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, established two camps to support the Lake Murray project. The park was designed by E.J. Johnson, 
who would later serve as a park superintendent from 1935 to 1940. And the design and structure and facilities employed the same National Park Service rustic style that had been used previously at Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, and Yosemite National Parks. Lake Murray State Park Lodge became the first of seven state-owned resort lodges in 1951. In 2013, the state governor authorized the Department of Tourism to spend up to 15 million to construct a new lodge at Lake Murray State Park. The new lodge is scheduled to for completion in 2015. And since this is 2019, you can go visit it and see it because it is complete and pretty cool looking from the outside. Anyway, that's just a little history on the lake. Um by the way, the lake uh, is 5,700 acres. Uh, let me see if I can find a little bit about how deep it is. And while he's clicking around on Google trying to figure that out, I'm just going to let y'all know where we're at now. This is a Buzzard's Roost Campground. Quite a name. Very pretty though. And uh, what kind of fish it has in it. So stand by. Now from what I have found, the primary fish in this lake is largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted bass, channel catfish, black and white crappie, walleye, bluegill, green sunfish, and red ear sunfish, and white bass, and striped bass. Uh, I don't guess they have blue cats, which is kind of surprising. Either way, that's still a pretty good variety. I'm not sure of the sizes and whatnot. You might uh, Google rec Lake Records and give you an ideal. But anyhow, that's a, it's a good variety of fish. Get out and catch some. This time of park, and we'll take a few pictures of this right here. <laughs> Yeah, you found the key to drive my poor heart and 
Ski Jump Campground. Yeah. The road is definitely a jump if you go too fast. That's just going slow. It's a small little campground, but it's uh, kind of secluded. And the majority of the campsites are directly on the water, which made it really nice looking. Stop. 